Well, it's been an awfully long time, hasn't it? Hi guys, I'm back. My hair's longer, if you can't tell. That's how long it's been. I've literally grown. I got a foot cramp. It's been a minute, man, or more accurately, two months. No, not even, it's been three months, flipping hell. That is a quarter of a year. But yeah, I'm back on YouTube, evidently. And honestly, I just needed a quick break to sort out my life. That's why I've been gone for so long. It's not that I don't care about making videos or I don't find it interesting anymore. Like, I love doing this. It's just, there were other stuff I needed to sort out. Um, it's still not sorted out, but here I am. Hi. And yeah, I've moved out into a new apartment. Um, I might have to do a flat tour one day or never, I don't know. But yeah, I finally gotten around to making this video. And since I've been gone for so long, like I've made a longer video to compensate. I know this is not car accident claims, but I still feel like I need to give something back. So yeah, before you start watching, just get comfortable, grab a pillow, get cozy, get some snacks or some food, check your fridge for anything nice. I'm gonna do the same thing as well. This is me at my most comfortable. Actually no, this position is kind of uncomfortable. This is nice. I feel safe when I'm hugging something. <laughs> so yeah, just pause the video and come back whenever you're ready. Just waiting for everyone that paused to get ready. Okay, glad to have you back. If you did not pause the video, this is very awkward. For this video, I wanted to know how it feels to do nothing. Where I get rid of anything. Anything that stimulates my brain, I try to get rid of it. Not only do I not use my phone, watch TV, use social media, play games. I wanted to get rid of everything. Even reading or writing, even being able to talk to someone. I wanted to get away from all of that. And basically isolate myself from as much of that as possible. Yes, I could have gone prison, but the idea just doesn't appeal to me that much. And to make sure that I don't get tempted by anything as well. Because I could have just sat at home and not used anything around me. But I wanted to make sure that I don't get tempted by anything. So what I did, this was my eureka moment. In hindsight, it was probably not... the the greatest idea in my idea book. I got my dad to just drop me off in a random part of a mountain in Algeria. If anyone doesn't know where that is, it's in the north of Africa. So we got Africa, we got the north of it. And yeah, I just wanted to sit there for the whole day from sunrise to sunset and just see how I feel. Disclaimer, I don't die. But I think this experience was one of the most painful things I've ever done to my brain in a long time. And I want you to feel like you're experiencing this with me because I know that a lot of our attention spans have been eroded by now. But what you can try and do is try and watch this video and see if you could get through the whole thing without getting distracted. Which is quite an ironic thing to ask since you're watching this on the internet. But I think this is probably the closest I could get to making this video in a way that allows me to share my experience with you. So yeah, just full screen your video, get comfortable, grab a pillow, grab your mum, and yeah, let's get let's go through this together. It's 4:40 in the morning right now. It's still pitch black outside, and I'm gonna start making my way to this mountain, and that's where I'm gonna stay for the next 16 hours. Bye bye. Alright. And he's gone. Alright, so now I am completely alone. My neighbours for today are this, this, and I've just got some trees to keep me company. So now I'm gonna do some hiking. I'm just gonna go sit somewhere on the other side of this mountain. It looks like something from a Breaking Bad scene. I'm such an idiot, there's thorns everywhere and I'm just here in my flipping sliders. Oh my god, wait. I think I'm next to a beehive or a wasp hive or something. Listen, listen, I don't know if you can hear. I'm moving from here. Why are there so many wasps there? What the hell? With my backpack and my chair. Should I just go sit somewhere up there? But I'm just scared of these flipping wasps. I hope there's none here. Please, please, please be no wasps. Bro, they're here as well. They're everywhere. Should I just try and befriend them? Since oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If something happens to me, I can't do anything. I can't call anyone. What do I do? Where do I go? Can I get some help, please? I'm just gonna leave my stuff here and look for a place to sit because ah! some of the stuff is kind of heavy. I'm gonna leave my stuff here and go somewhere down there. I'm scared if I step on one of them. I got thorns in my feet. Bro, there's no escape. I feel like I'm in a maze. A wasp maze. I don't know what to do. Phone a friend? No, can't because I don't have a phone. Do wasps have a bedtime? Should I just wait until they go to sleep? It's like 5 a.m. or around 5 a.m. and it's already hot. Should I go down there? You know what? I'm gonna follow this path. Well, whatever, whatever it is, and try and go in that corner. I'm gonna go get my stuff. That's my, that's the best bet right now. You know there's literally wasps everywhere. I've never seen anything like this before. What if I'm on a wasp mountain? What if this is wasp territory? Every corner I go to, I'm here. There's my stuff. There's one flying next to my head. Guess what I'm doing? I'm saying sorry, and I'm leaving. These lot have officially chased me out of town. Look how I'm just walking. Anyways, I'm gonna do a walking shot, so I'm gonna put my camera down. Here we go. Alright, that is the last one I'm doing today because that is so long. I have to just leave my camera, pretend to walk off, come back and collect it, and then I'll just edit that out. Ooh, look at the sun. I just realized, what if this is private land? I didn't think of that. And trespassers will be shot. I've never actually tested my skin, but I hope it's bulletproof. Let me give you a tour of my house for the next day. 
I'm still exhausted. I've only had like two hours sleep. I think one thing my brain doesn't understand is the fine line between adventurous and dangerous. I have no forms of communication and I'm in the place that looks like the forbidden wasteland in flipping Lion King. I feel like one hyena is just going to come out of nowhere. Anyways, let's not let the mind wander too much. Let's just focus on what we've got and what we do have is a lot of fear. And I don't even want to start thinking about how I'm going to get back from here. My dad can't pick me up. He just dropped me off here and he's like, yeah, safe. Do your, do your YouTube video. This would be a nice place for hiking though if it was like registered as a safe area. I'm going into here now. I am really hoping there's no wasps in this area. Oh, that's a nice spot. I'm just gonna go and sit there. If there's accessibility, this doesn't look like the most wheelchair friendly area. <laughs> <sighs> this is way more secluded than I would have ever imagined. Why am I low-key scared? There's big bugs, man. Okay, let me give you a 360 tour of where the hell I am. By the way, I'm just standing on this thing. Deep the silence. Quite bloody silent, isn't it, mate? What are you doing? Get off me, man. So the sun is there. It's gonna go up like there. I need to find a way to find shade. So step one was get away from the wasps. That's complete. Step two is find... Oh my... There's so many bugs here, man. I'm gonna start bugging out. I feel like usually I don't plan my videos, but maybe this was one that I should have planned a little bit more ahead of time. I was just like, yeah, let me just spend a day on a mountain. Forgetting that a mountain means this. And this. And this. Oh my god, these bugs just keep going. Oi, the bugs here are brave. Flies, usually, if you're moving, they're not landing on you. These ones, they, they think I'm actually a helipad. The sun's basically coming up. I'm not looking forward to the sun, man. I think the greatest challenge has been is, is sitting in this heat. What if I just go down there? Oi, that bit looks like a bit of a flat patch there. Bang! Ugh. And now jump number two. Damn. Damn. All right, yeah, this looks flat enough. I think I'm gonna set up camp here. I feel like Bear grills. The sun is almost fully up now. I'm gonna try and create like a nice little living room. Actually, no, bedroom. Actually, what should I go for? Bedroom or living room? I'm gonna do living room so I can live in it. No, I'm gonna be here for 15 hours. God, that is gonna be depressing. I'm gonna set up camp here. Let me do an unboxing actually. So I got an umbrella. So this is my umbrella. This is gonna give me shade. I got this in my bag. What do we have? Got a hat, which I should have been wearing this whole time. Some shades. If I wanted like a geography teacher on a school trip. I got some water. It's still cold, but by the end of the day, it's not gonna be cold. I got some of this. It's like um, yogurt, but you drink it. Oh my God, that is a wasp. That is a wasp. Bro, go away. Got some yogurts. I was gonna say I got a peach, but this is barely a pe peach. Man, it's a peach. This is a pear. And I got this thing so I can sit on. And last but not least, I got my chair. Okay, so I'm here now. Sun is directly in my face, but guess what? Umbrella. So I'm gonna sit like this for the rest of the day. For the next 15 hours, I'm just gonna be chilling like this. Okay, it's been like 30 seconds, bruv. I'm already bored. Bro, it's so hot already. I've never seen a fly like that before. Bro, I'm discovering new species of fly. Also, I'm getting surrounded by them now. Okay, they're actually gonna harass me, so I need to kill them. Right, now that I've had some time to actually sit, um, Sorry, my mind just went blank. Oh, that's another thing. I got no clue what time it is. It's probably 6 a.m. right now. Do I have to create a sundial? I'm probably gonna, out of boredom, create a sundial at some point. I have no clue how to make a sundial. But it's gonna be long and not just because of the boredom, but also because of the flipping sun. The fact that all I have for protection is this. It's the size of my head, bruv. Okay, it's a bit bigger than my head, but you get what I'm trying to say. Bro, I actually got beef with a fly. It's gonna try land on my leg again. Next time it lands on my leg, I'm assassinating it. He's been trying to beef me for the last three minutes. I'm gonna kill him. He's listening. I know he's listening as well, because he just stopped right now. Anyways, I'm gonna try have a quick nap now. Um, I'm probably not gonna end up sleeping at all because now I'm seeing the sun is coming in my face But it doesn't matter because I've got my shades. I'm gonna go like this double protection like that and just slide down so Anyways, I'm gonna see how that goes and I'll let you know if I actually do end up napping or not okay, So this is where I encountered my second problem. I did not realize I would be so uncomfortable I had a stiff chair barely any shade from the sun. Oh, yeah, the other thing is I, I didn't have sun cream That was a horrible decision. I was just getting slow roasted in the sun medium rare. Yeah, I can't lie Sleeping is looking like a myth insects flying about every two seconds. I hear to my head the sun is burning my head off i came uh, next to the tree so i could get shade there's just no shade mate now the sun has transported itself there it's gone up there so it was there at what like 6 a.m now it's about maybe 7 30 a.m i don't know what time it is man. i don't know my concept of time is a bit skewed at the moment i keep like hearing stuff as well. i don't know if i'm bugging out but i keep thinking i'm hearing like footsteps or something but yeah i have not managed to get a single second of sleep i don't, I don't know what to do i don't know what to do i'm just gonna chill well, <laughs> there's not a lot of options. My umbrella here, as you can see, is providing me with a lot of shade. I look like a nomad. Look at my protection from the sun. It's so cool. Look at this artwork. I was counting how many lines there are and I predicted there were 30 and there were actually 25. So I was quite close. All right, so the sun started off somewhere down there and it's gone. So that's probably what, like two hours of earth moving around? My prediction is that it's like nine 
No, 9 a.m. right now. There was a point where I just started feeling mad anxious out of nowhere. And I think a lot of it was the realization that if something happened to me or if something went wrong, nobody knows where I am. I didn't even have a first aid kit or anything to protect myself. Ooh, what did I bring? Shorts and sliders. Like at one point, I was just filled with dread. So I didn't mention this before, but I was actually feeling kind of like, not even scared, like just very anxious earlier. One, because I'm sleep deprived. But also because, just go away, please. But also because just being here and deep in, I'm actually trapped. I'm trapped here. I have no means of communication. I'm thinking, if something does go wrong, I can't do anything. I'm in the middle of nowhere. All right, I'm gonna try and do some meditation now because I feel like that's what people do when they're in just forests on their own. And hopefully I come out a changed man. This is so boring. I just realized, how do you even meditate? What do meditation people do? My brother said to me he doesn't think I can do this for the whole day because apparently it's too long. But I was like, I'll just wait and see. I'll see how it goes. And now I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to end up doing this. Oh, look what I found though. I found, okay, I don't know what this is, but I found it and now it's gone. I think what my brain's been trying to do is find other sources of entertainment. I think it still hasn't fully just accepted that I'm going to be like this. And it's just trying to find ways to entertain me. But I shouldn't be. I need to be more accepting of the boredom and not trying to find ways to stimulate my brain. That is so hard though. Because my brain's even on autopilot. It's trying to find out how to do fun stuff by itself. I was going to make a game from the rocks. Oh, look, there's a little bird. He's up there in the tree. I don't know if you can see him. Also, I was thinking... Um... Actually, no. Ignore me. My attention span is damaged. Before, I felt uneasy because I was thinking, bruv, what if a snake comes out of nowhere? Or even like a scorpion or something. Sun update. <laughs> no one asked, but I'm going to show you anyway. And it's there. We're going to wait for it to go all the way back there, back there, back there, back there and go all the way back to the back side you know what i find weird every time that i how do i put this into words basically i keep thinking to pull out my phone it just comes into my head it's like instinct auto instinct i want to pull out my phone and then i'm like ah oh, but it's not here and it's scary at the same time have i developed this much of a reliance on my phone to entertain me when i'm bored that like my automatic instinct is like oh yeah where's my phone i'm bored where's my phone oh there's nothing to do where's my phone to the point where i don't have my phone on me and this is common knowledge and my brain knows it but it's still trying to find it i went to reach for my phone my phone is not there. I'm having a yogurt. Feel free to join me. Pit, not you. Oh my, look how big that fly is. Move, 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 move. Move, no, no. I did a, it was a bad choice to bring food. Oh my God. It was a bad choice. I'm going to quickly eat this before they come and scavenge my food. I didn't, when I said join me, I meant you lot. Oh my days. I hope they can't smell it. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to kill it. Nearly got it. They're so fast. Oh, I just heard something. Bro, I keep thinking I'm hearing stuff. Guys, my anxiety is back. And so is this flipping fly. No one knows where I am. No one can find me. Very nice to hear. But when I tell you, I have no clue what time it is right now. And usually my, my perception of time is quite good. But now I don't know if two hours have passed, three hours, four hours, six hours. Even looking up at the sky, like I don't know if this is like early morning sunlight or afternoon sunlight. This is weird. I'm going to try and make a sundial because I've run out of all the activities that I was supposed to be doing here. Um, For example, nothing. All right, so to make a sundial, we need a stick. And I don't know what else we need. Or should I just use this? I'm going to try to use the umbrella to calculate how many hours have passed here. So we're going to put the umbrella like that, like this. If we put it straight down like that you see there's a shadow ah oh, wait i need to regulate my clock this is not gonna work now i'm gonna put this in the ground like that and now it's pointing there um that means it's 2 34 pm so the sun started down there somewhere and it's made its way all the way up there now that is a quarter of a cycle so that means three hours have passed so far it can't be 9 a.m surely it's not 9 a.m please don't be 9 a.m i'll actually be so sad if it's 9 a.m i already feel like i've been here for four days it can either be 9 a.m or it could be 1 p.m i don't know it looks like afternoon sun should i name everything around me then okay let's play i spy i spy with my little eye something beginning with t If you guessed tree, then you are correct. I spy with my little eye something beginning with G, grass. I something beginning with R, rocks. That's about everything I spy. Alright guys, I'm going to eat this peach now. Peach is a pear. I'm going to eat this pear now. Okay, step one, when you're eating a pear, you go like this. <laughs> Anyways, step two, you want to open your mouth, take a bite. This is a pe pear eating tutorial. Ah. <laughs> this is not nice. It's not nice. I'm dashing this away, mate. Don't worry. It will decompose. Oh, here, here. Flies. You want it? You want it? 
Go get it. Hopefully all the flies go to that now. It's starting to get ridiculously hot. T someone just upped the temperature. So I think it's like approaching midday now. So that means I've been here for six-ish hours and I've still got another almost 10 hours left. Oh my God. How many seconds are there in 10 hours? Should I just do a timer and just time it manually? Just count down from 9 million. 8 million, 999,999. 8,999,998,997 8,999,996 Oh, I'm gonna die I feel like this is the hardest bit though Because this is the bit where I'm most stagnant like, I've just been doing nothing Like in the morning, like I got here And then obviously I set up And like I kind of just had to get used to my surroundings and stuff And now it's just like, there's nothing going on Except for no, nothing. I did see like four eagles before though, which is quite cool. Remember, I had a bit of biscuit earlier and I think some crumbs fell onto the floor and I just looked down. And most of them are gone now, but there was an army of ants. A whole army. Remember, how strong is an ant sense of smell? How did they all just congregate here? And who snaked? Who snitched and said that I got food? Look, they're all just chilling. Hey. I don't really mind ants In fact, I might give them some more food Because I'm feeling generous right now But um, let me give you an update of where the sun is Okay, so we started off once again We started off somewhere down there And it went all the way up, all the way there And now it's reached there So now, I don't know what time it is But it's maybe like 3 o'clock now Oh, my brain has stopped thinking about my phone, by the way or Like it hasn't in a long time But I think some of the ants managed to get into my bag Okay, at this point, I've literally just been sat down doing nothing for around 10 hours And obviously in this video, I'm only including bits of like me talking Or if I'm doing something And that's been around like what 15 20 minutes but just imagine 95% of the time when I'm not recording I'm just sat like this and I'm just doing nothing like the only thing I could do is think and it was making my brain hurt I can't lie, I didn't really know how I was gonna feel But right now, I just feel so demotivated Do you know what I'm craving right now? Uh, obviously you don't I just want some wings and a barbecue burger Anyways, what are you lot up to? There's nothing going on in my head, weirdly enough I feel like I can't say what's going on in my head Because there's too much going on in my head There isn't a single point that just stands out I just keep bouncing from thought to thought to thought to thought You know what, Let's, let, let me actually do that Thought roulette Anything that comes to my head, I'm just gonna say it straight away Year 9 English teacher that used to write our essays for us What a legend, Miss Pew, shout out you I also keep thinking, what if because there's wild boars that live here I keep making up scenarios where one actually comes out And the first thing I'm going to do Basically if a warthog comes And it's going to come like You know they have like their tusks And they're like <laughs> I'm going to straight away Jump on this tree And go up there And then I was thinking What if it never leaves What if it just stays there Waiting for me the whole time And then I was like Imagine like a pack of wolves Just come out of nowhere And then I was thinking Oh what if I'm encountered by a creature That can actually climb trees I also imagined a snake Coming out of the bushes I think that's what a lot of my brain Has been doing Just Making up scenarios where I die or get hurt or get eaten. Yeah, I like eagles, man. Do you know what I hate though? Flies! But, anyways, um, I'm gonna go and um, play some FIFA. All right, so this is meal number three. I barely eaten anything today. So, basically, this is like crushed dates on the inside and then on the outside, I don't know exactly what it is. But it's really nice. Anyways, cheers, guys. And you have it with some yogurt as well. It's really nice. Guys, look at this plant here. Yeah. It looks straight in it. It looks like straight hair. Yeah, let me pull some out. Now look here. Yeah. Let me show you something cool. What I think is cool anyway. And when you run your hand through it this way. Oh my god. Guys, I've done most of it. I've done most of the day. We don't understand like, like I'm actually struggling. But now knowing that I only got a few more hours left. I mean it's still hours but the fact that I've done from 5 a.m. bro. From 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bro, I've been here for 12 hours. I've been... Here, 12 hours of my life, I've just been sat here doing nothing. I fought flies. Oh look, there's an ant. He's delivering food to the family. Go, go Edward, go. I hope he gets home safe. The even ants have Uber Eats and I don't. Oh yeah, back to the plant. Okay, in hindsight, it's not the coolest thing in the world, but it's quite cool anyway. When you go this way, it's nice and smooth, but when you go this way, you can't because it's got like little, it's got little, um, if I run it through my shirt this way, it's fine. But if I run it this way, look, it gets caught. If I run it this way, it's fine. If I go this way, caught. But this way, look. Look, it's completely fine like this, yeah? It goes through my shirt, but then like this, it doesn't. And it's because it's got little knives here. They're not knives. I don't know what to call them. But it's like little pieces. Can you see? Oh, there's another ant. Bro, they're just, okay, now they're taking a piss because now they're just using my legs to get from one side to the other. Go underneath the chair. You don't need to go on top of my leg. But no, isn't that cool? Okay, now they're taking a piss because every single ant and their mom is going over my leg. I need to actually have a word with them. Please, 
not on the sunbed, okay? Underneath the sunbed. You know, I just keep, that's mad. I'm here and I keep saying I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone. And yes, I am alone. But at the same time, I'm surrounded by living things. Everything around me right now is alive. Even this tree, this fat tree right here, that tree right there has been alive longer than I've been alive. And these are all living things like the ants here, the birds, these cricket thingies that are making this noise. But I just feel so alone. I think it's around, I mean, it must be around like 5.30 or something like that now. Right, I really want to leave. I don't know what it is, but I really want to leave now. How can doing nothing be this tiring? Like I genuinely, like I feel drained from doing nothing. I feel like it's always the last bit that's the most difficult because you're like, there's only a bit left, but that time feels the longest. But imagine being able to teleport. I'm never entering an airport again. Imagine one day you're just feeling, uh, you know what? I'm feeling a bit of Iceland. Let me just, you're in Iceland on a volcano. Pit stop in Cuba, get munched there. Then quickly just transport to Argentina. And you do all of this in 18 minutes, bruv. That is by far the best ability to have. But I feel like flying is more like thrilling Because teleporting you're just in one place and then you're you're gone Unless you teleport yourself to the middle of the sky And you're falling, you're falling Just as you're about to hit the ground You just teleport back onto the ground And that way it doesn't do damage But then that's risky Let me try it <sighs> Didn't work yeah. How you doing? You alright? Yeah, I'm not Hey, look at this I've just updated my skill set, umbrella spinner. How do people go to prison and go to solitary confinement for years? Imagine you're in court, you know in full well you're going to spend the next 20 years of your life inside a cell. Uh, I'm just waiting for the sun to start going red. I look like I got roasted. I think I still got a few more hours, but I think I got through the worst. I mean, I definitely got through the worst of it. The worst of it was like the afternoon hours. Oh my God, it was so hot. Whoa, it just went silent. Those things that I've been screaming the whole time just went quiet. What the hell? Why are they listening to my conversation, man? But yeah, as soon as the sky starts going a bit more red, that's when I'm gonna start making my way because, bro, I don't even know the way back. I'm just gonna try and remember kind of where my dad drove me to this morning. But I don't have a ride back home. I need to walk it through these mountains and try to find out where my house is. But I might try to hitchhike, but it doesn't look like there's any cars passing. And I'm not trying to walk through this part in the dark. You know, I've been deep in here. Yeah, I don't know if just staying like this, being bored, makes you lose your memory or something, but I cannot remember. Like the things I've done today, I can't remember exactly what I've done. I was, I was so bored that I was trying to run through my day i was like what did i do like from start to finish so i came here i walked to this spot i put all my stuff down what did i do like what have i actually been doing was my day so fruitless that my brain just didn't think to remember anything because it's like yeah this is just not worth losing gigabytes over there's no point keeping this day in the storage i'm actually interested to see how i feel when i get home if i get home at this point i don't know how i'm getting home i've got this bad habit where i put myself in situations and i don't think about the outcome i was just i would always just do something and be like okay i'll think about it later but like i'll think about the consequences after just like i'll just figure out how to get home afterwards now it's afterwards i still don't know how i'm getting home bro and i'm slightly panicking because i don't have google maps i don't have gps i don't have anything and another thing i don't have is any clue where i am the only way i could get home is by walking which wouldn't be a problem if i knew which direction to walk wow there's a lot of birds just chilling there all right i'm gonna go for a quick walk onto that top part of the mountain up there i think they call it the pinnacle no they call it the peak okay one thing i know about snakes here is that they, they reside in rocks that's scaring me and that is scaring me but guess what if you don't try to overcome your fears you might just not die remember the plant that i mentioned earlier this one you can grab onto it like this and use it to pull you forwards especially when the gradient is steep okay there's a lot of rocks here and that fun fact that i just shared with you is now scaring me what if i just start annoying the snakes by coming into their house and they start throwing a hissy fit look what i have to get through i have to go through all of this but i want to go there but i'm wearing sliders and shorts this is beautiful there we go move man All right, I think I need to start maybe making my way within the next 15, 20 minutes. But it looks like it's almost the end of the day, man. I survived. I did this. I did this. I'm proud of myself. Ah! Let me just double check there's no snakes. I made it. Everyone watching this, I've made it. But you don't understand, I really don't want to move from here. This is so calming, so relaxing. Let me even just sit on this rock and just reflect for a second. All right, I was deciding where to sit, like there was a seating plan. <laughs> Reflection time is I need to go to the toilet. But no, nah, in all seriousness, this was an experience. I'm happy it's over because it wasn't like, I wouldn't say this was an incredible experience, it wasn't. This is just nice now because of these views, but I didn't really enjoy that, to be honest. I thought it was very long and I was just waiting for it to end the whole time, I just wanted it to finish. As much as I'm dreading the journey back, I'm excited to actually do it because then I'll be doing something. Oh my God, that's a nice bird. Hopefully I can transit. Bro, this fly has been following me for a long time. Like surely, surely not. 
I know we spent the whole day together. We went through hardship together, but please leave me alone now. All right, let me make my way back now. Home time now. This rock shall be missed. Look, there's my seat looking all alone. Bruv, it's gonna get dark very soon. Oh, I need to. Did I hurt, I hurt my ankle? I twisted my ankle. Ah, I twisted my ankle. This is not good. This is gonna be long, man. All right, time to pack everything up. And it's already getting dark. I basically fasted today. I barely ate anything. All right, so everything's packed. Now this is just a race against time. All right, lads, see you later. All right, so I've been walking for about maybe a minute. I'm already lost. I don't know which way to go. There's like a, oh my God, look how many birds. All right, so I found the path that I originally walked on. This one with all the haunted trees. Hopefully I get to the main road before it gets dark because there's no way I'm getting home before it gets dark. It will take me at least two hours. Despite not knowing exactly where to go, I was just happy the day ended and I can finally do something that's not sitting down staring at a tree or having domestic issues with a fly. There was one thing I didn't know though, and it's that the person my dad was supposed to meet in another city rearranged for another day, so he didn't have to go. Obviously I didn't know this because I had no forms of communication, but as I was walking, I've been walking for like half an hour now and I'm just following the road or where I think the house is my dad's car just comes out of nowhere but the relief I had bro, I can't it was such a pleasant surprise it was such a nice relieving feeling I, I felt like I was finally safe especially how tired and drained I was not only that it was nice to see another human came to the rescue <laughs> oh my days bro. I'm walking and my dad just comes out of nowhere hello mate I thought you were gonna let me walk the whole way I'm low-key relieved but at the same time I wanted to do it on my own hey look my phone my phone's been given back oh thank you Fanta as well Fantastic stuff. All right, that was a very abrupt end to the journey. I thought I was never gonna make it. That was so nice and cold. I've just been having hot drinks. My water was boiling. I had no idea. I was, I was just gonna walk the whole way. See that reaction? Are you okay? We went through a lot together. Please be okay. But yeah, I think that's the end of it, mate. I'm gonna do reflection afterwards. But for now, I got my phone back. I hope you enjoyed this video of me doing uh, nothing for the whole day. Oh yeah, I found out later that it was actually the hottest day in Algeria. That day it was over 40 degrees. But yeah, I'll be posting more frequently. And yeah, I appreciate everyone that managed to get to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this journey we went through together. Thank you guys.